Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed towards his name in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. The Lord is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. The angels are writing down everything, everything that we do, all our labors. You see, the charity, everything, man, is being recorded. It's, it's not in vain. Doing the good works of your how about Shemel Shaka, this is a good work. Being a part of this body, being a part of this ministry, teaching the lessons, edification, exhortation, comfort, brotherly love, all, all part of the works, man. <laughs> All part of the works. And the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. We look, look, we must endure to the end. It's all about enduring to the end. It's all about just striving for perfection. And the scripture said, I have chosen you to be a soldier. So endure hardness as a good soldier, man. Yeah, a whole lot coming out in the pipeline. At the, at the end, all be it all, there's a reward for our labors. If we endure until the end, I want to read that again. A quick little lesson through the spirit, man. The Lord always have us think about this, man. And your labor is not in vain. You got to truly believe this thing, though. You got to have faith. That's who's going to inherit the promises. The Israelites, they got faith, the elect of the nation of Israel. Hebrews chapter 6. Yeah, it's getting hard. It's getting rough. But the work must continue. The scriptures say, be not slothful. Let's read that again, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus, right? It's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. When we go out there to the highways and byways, years of going out there to the highways and byways. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, man. You see, these sit-down videos, our studying that we do throughout the week, charity, brotherly love, it's all part of the works, man. That the Lord said he's not unrighteous. He's not going to forget that, man. And, and the men that passed away doing the work of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the scripture said their work followed them, man. You see? Because what are we fighting for? We're fighting for that crown, man. We're fighting for everlasting life. Then going right back to what is it? 2 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. It says, um... Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold until eternal life. So, so, so yeah, it's a fight. It's a fight, but this fight is well worth it, man. You see? Let's read on. Hebrews 6.10 For the Most High Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards His name. And we're coming in the names of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. We're coming to those names, man. Everything we do is for the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, um, let's see. Which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints. We're serving our people with this word, with this food, with this milk, with this bread, with this wine, with this fruit, man. Which is this word, right? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? In that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. We got to continue to minister. We got to continue to serve. We was bringing this thing to serve, right? It says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Because we're prisoners of hope, right? We're prisoners of hope. We got to continue to do this, Lord willing, until the end come. Until the Lord say enough is enough. The Lord send, send word down. 
from the heavens through the apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, and the men on down saying, look, it, it's over with now. Fishing season is over with now. now. Now we're entering into another season, a.k.a. hunting season. But until then, keep pushing his word. Keep laboring. You see? But the, the scriptures say, hate not laborers work. Hate not laborers work. Look, it's, it's only a few of us. So you know you got to do extra, man. For whatever measure the Lord has given you. If it's one talent, then you push your one talent to the best of your ability. Five talents on down. Push it to the best of your ability, right? It says, um, that ye be not slothful. Can't be lazy when it comes to doing the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh right? The Lord said, put forth all your strength when you come to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Be Look, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith believe in something that you don't see, right? And promise and patience. I like him. Let's read that again. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So you got faith and you got patience. The word patience goes back to suffering. So all the suffering that we're going through, the Lord has given us the gift of faith to believe that it's almost over. And the suffering is not in vain. Matter of fact, let's get that Romans right quick. Our suffering is not in vain either, man. Let's get this right quick. This is Romans. Bear, bear with me. Quick little lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Our labors are not in vain. The videos that we're doing, the hitting the streets, things of that nature, reading, studying, being brotherly, charity, all that, is, is none of it is in vain. Let's get this. Romans chapter 8. And I'm going to just go straight to the point. Romans chapter 8. Verse 17, and of children then heirs, heirs with Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, who the ignorant called Jesus, if so be that we suffer with them. Remember, faith and patience inherit the promises. So, so yeah, suffering is part of the contract. All right? Faith is part of the contract. Suffering is part of the contract, right? It says, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the things that we go through and the things that are coming down the pipeline, right? Are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us if we endure to the end. Because our labor is not in vain. The things that we're going through right about now, yeah, we're in the flesh. So we do feel some type of way being in the flesh. But it's, it's bigger than that, though. It's bigger than that, though, man. It, see, it's bigger than what we're going through and it's bigger than the things that we see, man. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel According to the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, because remember, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be counted. You know what I'm saying? To the things that are coming, just roughly paraphrasing. I, I just read it. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read it again. Let's go back right quick. Romans chapter eight, verse um, Romans chapter eight, verse eighteen, and it reads: For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the thing, the hell that we're catching right about now. And the hell is fastly approaching, right? It says, it's not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. It can't compare to the kingdom. The things that we're going through right about now, it can't compare to the kingdom. Ruling for all eternity, never having a bad day for all eternity. Going through this right here, suffering for righteousness sake. To never have a, ever a problem, ne uh, ever, ever, uh, ever, ever, for never having a problem. We would never have problems ever again, man, in the kingdom. But right now, this is part of the road. This is part of the course. That straight and narrow, the path of difficulty, right? So, so it ain't no need of being ashamed. Of being partakers. The Lord chose us to be partakers of the afflictions of the gospel, man. Look, 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 man, it's, it's all good. A crown of life, a crown is, is stored up for us, Lord willing, man, if we endure it to the end. 
And I just want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh man. Just, just going into some scriptures on how our labor is not in vain. The Lord told us to feed the flock. Remember, let's get this right quick. Let's get James. Let's get, let's go to get James right quick. Let's see. And nothing, nothing's rehearsed. I'm just flowing in the spirit. We'll get James. Just bear with me. This is James. Let's see where I want to start at. Bear with me. Let's see. Um, James. Let's see. Bear with me, Israel. I'm just looking up the scripture right quick. This is James chapter 2. I started verse 17. James chapter 2, verse 17. And it reads, Even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works, man. That's who's going to inherit the promises, man. The Israelites that have faith and got works to back it up, man. Faith and works go hand in hand. Remember, laboring, man. A house, a spiritual house is being built. So, so look, all hands on deck. The Lord, the Lord said, no, saying, look, a, a reward is coming with it. And, and we do it regardless of the reward. Now, this, this is, this is, this is the least that we can do. This is our duty according to the scriptures, man. Help and build this house for you. How about you? I'm trying to spiritual art, man. This is our duty, man. You see? Let's see. I got a couple more scriptures, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I just want, I just want to do something through the Spirit. The Lord, one of the elect is edified. This is um First Corinthians chapter nine. Let's see. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse sixteen, and it reads. For though I preach the gospel, meaning the good news, we're out there on the highways and byways, doing sit-down videos, so forth and so on, right? For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, because this was given to us, man. It's a gift, all right? We can't brag, we can't boast, it's a gift. It says, um, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel of destruction. Unto me, if I preach not the gospel, if I don't hit the highways and byways, the, hell, the Lord said you would have been better off now ain't knowing this word, man. Instead of instead of preaching it for a while and then you stop preaching it, that's why we got to constantly pray to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, constantly, right? It says, um, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. So we got to do this thing willingly. Th that's when you receive the crown. That's when we receive a reward if we're doing this thing willingly, man. Because you don't want to be out there on the highways and byways or doing your sit-down videos, but you really don't want to do it. You're just doing it because you don't want nobody to say nothing to you. No, you want to do this thing willingly, man. You want to um, give charity willingly, not grudgingly. The Lord said he loves a cheerful giver, a cheerful giver, a cheerful giver, right? It says, for if I do this thing willingly, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 17, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward because remember, he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. That's when you receive the reward if you do this thing willingly. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. So we, we want to do this thing willingly, man. That's how you get the reward. Remember, Ezra said he seen the men that stood so stiffly being crowned. They stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua being crowned, man. There was a there was a beautiful time. He said he said he marveled at the men that stood so stiffly for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He was like, wow. Look, just not knowing that he was one of them, right? Because there's no remember of former things, right? This is 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7. And it reads, Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded for your work shall be rewarded if we endure to the end we're going to be rewarded that's just like on any job that you go to any job that you go to you go to work and you put in work you don't just go to work and go to sleep you go to work and you put in work you get a check right don't you get rewarded at your job for going to work and work how much more the lord man 
how much more Yahweh about Shemiah Shai, righteous judges, man. Remember, we got a righteous judge. We're working for, for righteous men, righteous entities, man. Remember, they, this, the first scripture that I brought out, man, was that Hebrews 6 and 10, the Most High said he's not unrighteous. He's righteous. You see, he's perfect in all his ways. He's not, he said he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, man. So the Lord see the work that we put in, and the, the sacrifices that we put in, man. We, we sacrifice a whole lot, man. You see, we put off a whole lot, man, which is all to the good anyway. Put in this work, what the Lord said again? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7. But be be ye, but be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak. Always working, always plowing. Remember, no man putting his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. So we got to be constantly plowing to the best of your ability, of course, man. Read on. It says, for your work shall be rewarded. Our work is not in vain, man. And I, and I got two more scriptures, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I just, I just wanted to hit some points right quick, you know. Just wanted to hit some points, and then, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Let's, let's see what else we got through the spirit of you have about Shemiah Just something quick, man. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. And it reads, but thanks be to Yahweh. Which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. We receive the victory through our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're gonna call Jesus, man. That's why we gotta most definitely thank the Most High Yahweh, man. Most definitely, we gotta continue to thank the Heavenly Father for sending His only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, down here to shed His blood. We get the victory through Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Let's get that again. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse, verse 57. But thanks be to Yahweh, who they even call God, which which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Therefore, my beloved, my beloved brethren, the house of David, Lord, when are we part of that number, right? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, constantly growing. Going, going from glory to glory, constantly growing, man. Always abounding, never staying stagnant. Because remember, the scriptures say, "Um, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water, man. Living water constantly flows. It's not stagnant, man. So, so all of us got to be constantly growing in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah. The scriptures say, always abounding, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not, man. It's not, our labor is not in vain. You think the Lord just got to do all these lessons each and every day for nothing? No, man. It's all adding up. Everything is adding up, man. And I got two I got two more scriptures, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to just throw something out there, man, through the spirit. Pretty much on uh, my video, just, just motivate myself, first and foremost, and, and motivating brethren to just continue to put in that work for your how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, because it's not in vain. It's not in vain. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 7, and it reads, But everyone... This shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed, man. And that's how you show that you got faith in your how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai. This is how you show that you truly believe when you put in the works, when you hit the highways and byways, when you do these sit down videos, you're letting your how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai know. Because they already know, of course, but you're letting them know. You're letting the whole world know what you truly believe in, man. Remember, fight that good fight of faith. Lay hold unto eternal life, man. Let's read that again. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7, and it reads. And everyone that shall be saved, because we're not saved yet, he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved, right? And shall be able to escape, escape what? Escape the calamities, and everything that's coming out of the pipeline, martial law, shit, the hour of temptation, 
all the above, man. And that's for those that believe, though, which the scriptures are going to say. It says, um, and, and, and to be, and, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, man. You see? So it's all about having faith in your how about Shemia Rashad. So you, you gotta know. You gotta know that your labor is not in vain. Only thing you gotta do is read the scriptures. The Lord just said your labor is not in vain. And the Lord, yeah, it gets tough, it gets hard. You we tired, we beat down, still gotta put in that work though. This is a labor of love. As the scriptures have said, this is a labor of love, man. And it's not in vain. It's not in vain if you're doing this thing willingly. If we're doing this thing willingly. Let's see what else, man. I I, I might got one more. Just bear with me. Because for real, for real, man, we're trying to make our calling and a lecture. Sure, I want to get this, though. This is First Thessalonians chapter 1. We'll start at 3. Let's see. Matter of fact, I started 2. First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2. For we give thanks to Yahweh. Always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. We got to constantly be praying for each other. That's part of the labor. That's part of the works, praying for each other. Can't forget that. You see? It says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love. This is a labor of love, right? It says, and patience, suffering, and patience, and, and patience of hope in our Lord Yahweh Shak Hamashiach, because remember we're prisoners of hope. It says, in the sight of Yahweh and our Father. Right? Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We gotta make our calling and election sure, man. Plus, first and foremost, you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. All right? We can't make you believe what the scriptures say. Only thing we can do is just read them. That's the only thing that we can do. We got to do this thing willingly, though. You see? Because if we do this thing willingly, it's a reward behind it, man. But, but I, I want to get this. And yeah, the spirit, you know what I'm saying, is truly ready. But the flesh is weak. There's going to always be a fight one against the other. It's, remember, Israel, it's going to always be a fight. That flesh going to be fighting the spirit each and every day. That flesh wants to go to damn sleep. Like right now, my flesh just want to just lay on the damn floor and take a nap. But my spirit wants to do the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So which one am, am I going to let win? Then the spirit, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to win every time. Sometimes you're going to go to sleep without doing a lesson. But don't let it be every time. Don't let it be every time, man. Let's get this. This is my final scripture. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written the fourth time were written for our learning, that we, the hopeful elect, through patience, suffering, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man. So what gives us hope? The scriptures, man. The scriptures, man. Our labor is not in vain, Israel. Our labor is not in vain. Ezra said he seen crowns being put on them Israelite men head. You know what I'm saying? The 144,000 Israelite men, the, the, the prophets' heads, this stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, meaning they was putting that work in. We gotta do our part, man. Labor of love. Shalom.